Aloha. So I was in Hawaii over the week, not just the weekend because that's kind of a long way to go for a weekend. I know, I know, the show on spontaneity was released more than a week after I was already gone. Ironic? Yes. Don't hate me just because I got to go on vacation and you didn't. You can go on vacation some other time. So I went out to visit my brother who runs the only commercial dive boat off the North Shore. There's a link below if you want to find out more. I swam with the whales, I heard whale song underwater, I went snorkeling, snuba, and scuba diving. Oh yeah, I did it all. I went to the Polynesian Cultural Center, the Hawaii Temple, and hiked in the rainforest. I saw Pipeline where they have the pro surfing competitions, and I jumped into the crashing waves nearby and watched them break from underwater. Very cool. Then I tried to get out and those same crashing waves threw me up on the beach and filled my shorts with like five pounds of tiny beach pebbles. Not cool. I was picking those little rocks out of my shorts the rest of the day. It hurt. A lot. I even went through the airport with a giant pocket knife and a whole bunch of restricted items. You know, dangerous stuff like gel and toothpaste. They didn't even find it. Everything's more relaxed in the islands, especially security. I trapped a cockroach under a glass and the next day my brother caught one and we thought about racing him. I saw geckos for the first time, I heard geckos for the first time, and I never drove the entire time I was there. I guess I did drive once because I almost got a ticket for doing a U-turn in a no U-turn lane, but I talked my way out of it. You see, everything is more relaxed on the islands. I ate the best spit-roasted Kahlua pork ever at this private family luau, and I ate mini-sized bananas right off a tree. They were tiny bananas. They're called apple bananas, which is a lot like saying peach pears. Then there was this guy pulling coconuts out of a tree, and I said, hey, that's cool, and so he gave me one. And I husked it, and I ate it, and I found out that the husk part stains clothing. Then I found out that a long, long 12-hour soak in OxyClean takes out those coconut stains. But it doesn't take out the stains in my socks from the red dirt I hiked through to the waterfall in the rainforest. I met a really nice old lady who gave me a package of those iridescent orange cheese crackers, and I met Laird Hamilton, the big wave surfing legend. Talking to him, I just kept thinking, he looks so familiar, I have seen this guy somewhere. But at the same time, I'm thinking, there's no way I've met this guy before. I didn't even know it was him till after he was gone. But that's okay, because he's probably watching the show right now thinking, I have seen this guy somewhere before. <laughs> I went to the Dole Pineapple Plantation and found out it was the biggest tourist trap ever. So I got a whipped pineapple and I ran for it. Because the longer you stay there, the more money you will spend. I had to get money out of an ATM and found out that neither of my banks have branches in Hawaii, so I had to pay ATM fees. Well, an ATM fee, because I'd only do that once. I learned that Hawaiian has five vowels and seven consonants, and that's why most of the words sound kind of the same. I'm looking for the Kanamahanamama Freeway near Hanam Kamanananamahu Free uh, Bay. And I was too cheap to buy a souvenir, so I brought a couple of volcanic rocks home. And that's supposed to make the fire goddess Pele really, really angry, and she'll curse you with bad luck until you bring him back. Sorry, baby. I'm keeping this one. Here's what you ought to know. If the show sucks from here on out, it's all because of my Hawaiian vacation. At least we had 119 good episodes before this happened. Boy, is she gonna be mad. This one's for the fire goddess, Pele. Clearly I was not part of the entertainment.